Uh, my name is Greg Butler. I'm a visual effects supervisor for the Moving Picture Company in London. As the visual effects supervisor, my primary focus is the client relationship with the filmmakers. In most projects, there's a visual effects supervisor appointed by the film studio who works for the director of the film. He's my contact on the client side, and with that person, we work on creating the visual effects for the film. I'm in charge of a team at MPC. It can be a small team, a large team, um, a team of artists, technicians, and production staff whose goal it is is to create a number of visual effects shots for any given film. As the senior creative person on the team, part of my early responsibilities are to help form a team to fulfill the project. So usually working with at least a producer and then a small production team, we build a team that can grow as large as four or five hundred if necessary for the big projects. The challenge is to keep a crew that's flexible enough, experienced enough, that they can take on these changes without falling backwards or slipping or having us deliver anything late. Um, part of our goal is to never deliver anything late or lower than the quality that's expected of us. In visual effects, we work in shots. Each shot in a film, usually from the start of a camera running to the end of a camera take. So a given shot can be any number of seconds, sometimes up to a minute. But when you get into minutes, that's a, a hugely complex task. We tend to work in shots that last a few seconds and each second is broken down into 24 frames. We tend to work on shots, not frames, because most of what we do is in motion constantly. For any given visual effect shot, it, it may consist of simple effects, like taking the film that was shot and adding in a different background or adjusting the background. So we take a photo of the Eiffel Tower and stick it behind, and now, invisibly, the actor was in Paris for free. As it gets more complicated, we start inserting more and more into the image that wasn't there on the set on the day. Um, so to the extreme of there could be very little left to what was filmed except the actor's face, usually the most expensive thing in the frame. One of the main things we bring to a potential client is a lot of very strong artists, um, a wealth of background experience, and some solid technology for making visual effects and filmmaking in general. We've spent years working on research and development for just the kinds of tools that are needed to make high-end visual effects, whether it's 3D or 2D or a combination. We often hear back from customers that what they really appreciate in us is our openness, our effort on their behalf, um, that really we just never give up. Once we're on the project, we're with them until the end of the project, doing whatever we can. Everything's possible. We try to have fun. We try not to take the work seriously all the time because you can't, if you take it seriously all the time, the creativity kind of dies a little bit. You have to keep it interesting, fun, collaborative. I'm 37, I grew up in New England, in a, the state of Connecticut in the US. I've been in films about 16 years now. My hobbies tend to be reading history, watching films, and trying to play sports now and then, just to keep moving around. Softball, soccer, um, those are the sports I can still do at my age and have fun.